Hey guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Sagittarius. Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to do things a little different. We're going to do a nine card spread and see what's going on with you and your person here. So somebody isn't moving forward. They seem to be stuck, unmotivated. They're lacking some type of discipline, maybe impatient, maybe even anger here. Let's see what else. Hmm. Eight of Swords in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, can, I'm kind of getting that whoever this person is that is unmotivated is starting to face fears here. Maybe even having some type of karma ending for them. They may have, they still might be, <laughs> have a temper, be revengeful, being in their shadow self right now. They might want to um, charge ahead, be an impulsive here, come forward with some energy here, maybe to fight with you or for you. Yeah, something is imbalanced here. This person is um, with justice in reverse here. It's kind of telling me that this is Libra energy. Something was unfair. Something was unbalanced. There was an unwelcome change here. There may even be karmic debts that need to be paid. Yeah, somebody may have cheated or was a divorce here because of cheating. Could be some romantic illusion or some confusion here. We have somebody's lacking the courage to come forward. Yeah, they're going through some bad luck here with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Something might be delayed. They may have to repeat a cycle here. They're unable to adapt to something or conform. Ah, Ten of s Cups in reverse. Okay, it could be family feuds or could be um, domestic kind of conflicts here within the family. I'm kind of getting like spats at home with their person that they're living with. So they're not happy. They're going through karma. They're not getting along with somebody here taking, wanting to take revenge on something. Two swords in reverse. Okay, so this is some anxiety, maybe about some truth that may be revealed here. Somebody's worried that something's going to come out. Okay, let's get your energy here, Sagittarius, and your person's energy. Let's get your energy first. What's your energy here? energy. Yeah, you might be playful. You want to recapture some type of romance and allow your youthful spirit of fun to shine, but what's going on? Hmm, there might be a new love coming in for you, Sagittarius. That might make you feel young at heart. You may need to let uh, go of some control issues here and allow this situation to unfold naturally. What about your person here? What's your person's energy here? Definitely going through karma. Not having a great time with somebody here. Somebody wants to take revenge on you or your person. Oh, somebody may have a hard time trusting. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So, having faith is spirit that something's going to come forward here. Something is worth waiting for here that your person knows that maybe you are worth waiting for. 
divine timing is at play. Wow, somebody wants to maybe marry you, go on a honeymoon, take you somewhere. They're trying to have that positive thinking and faith that will bring in you. Bring you the romance or bring them, you, the romance. You as their romance. Let's see here. What's the combined energy? <laughs> Reconciliation, Sagittarius, with somebody here from your past. Now, this new love could be a new love with this person that you're going to reconcile with, or there is someone else in the mix plus somebody that wants to reconcile, so take it however it applies to you. Switch it, flip it however you need to to make it resonate. Let's see here. And just keep in mind this is general reading so not everything will resonate with you. Take what does and leave the rest. Let's see what we have for your intentions. Okay. Yeah, there's something coming to light here. Clarity, truth revealed. Yes. <laughs> yeah, solidarity. So somebody's feeling all alone here. Something is coming out. Something's being known about something here. You're being lighthearted. You're finding out things. Things coming to light. You're adapting, changing, and healing from this. Might have been somebody talking shit about you or you're finding out about stuff. You have abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. And then it says not today. You're avoiding a conversation, a call, or a person. You have your boundaries. And you're still maybe angry with this person. Now, this could be this person that you're re wants to reconcile with you. And you're not going to have it. Maybe you're looking at this new love. And you're not going to be with that person. You may... You may know who's who in this story, but you're going to say no to somebody here that you don't want anything to do with them. What about your person's intentions here? Intentions. Karmic relationship. And I... And I'm not sure who to put this with. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put that back and we're going to go with the new love and the reconciliation here. Who is who here? Let's push this down and we'll put the new love up here because that's where it belongs. Here and we will move this stuff over and put this over here because we want to know who is who here. So with this new love, what's their intention? What's this new love's intention here? Whoa, this is going to be something sudden and unexpected here. What else? Ah, this could be your twin flame, this new love. What about the reconciliation? This was happiness, joy, enjoying each other. What about this reconciliation? They have some outdated thinking here. They may be somebody that has conditioning from parents and they may be replaying things over in their head. Let's see, what is your person with the new person's uh, combined energy? Healthy choices and your other person, soulmate. Oh, wow. So you have a soulmate and a twin flame here. One is a healthy choice and the other is somebody you're going to say no to. One is going to be a twin flame and the other is a soulmate and a reconciliation. <laughs> so let's see, what lessons have you learned from this new person. What lessons will you learn from this new person? So I don't feel like this person's come in yet. What is the lesson you learned with this new person? Oh, you may have needed to ask for help. 
um, maybe there was something you couldn't do that you needed help with and it's about learning to ask for help maybe you'd rather do things on your own or perhaps you've been injured or you've been sick or something has been in the way of you doing what you normally do on your own and you may have to ask for help and maybe you don't like to and spirit's saying you need to learn how to do that then there's i love you these are powerful words now this may be somebody you've spoken i love you to let's see here what other words or this may be saying to you don't tell someone you love them unless you mean it or you may love them at that time thinking that they're your person and perhaps you notice over time that this person isn't quite what you were thinking they were so let's see consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love so you may not have been as committed once this person started to reveal themselves and perhaps at that time you should have walked away maybe staying longer than you should have what about this reconciliation what did you learn with them love makes a difference love helps heal past hurts and provide sense of security and self-worth i feel like you found your self-worth when you walked away from this soulmate here be supportive perhaps you didn't show your support to this person once they started to become somebody that you were not fond of and demonstrate love find out what is important to those people or that person or the ones you love and act on it so you may they may have had a different love language than you did and you may not have been giving them what they needed out of the love and well, let's see what did this person this new love learn from you receive with love and appreciation they may not have appreciated gracious acceptance is the way to show love so perhaps they didn't want to accept your love or didn't appreciate your love and what about the reconciliation show oh slow down pause and allow things to unfold and i kind of feel like that has to go with this new love because this person needed to let go of control issues now this person may need to too but let's get to for this reconciliation energy here relationship patterns so this person learned that they had patterns possibly when it comes to people that they keep playing or these patterns needed to change express love through gifts so this person may be didn't know how to express your love language maybe give you gifts maybe you're a touchy-feely person maybe you have a different love language so it it all depends on how you felt with that person this is what they learned from you this is what you learned from each of them and on the bottom of the deck here is back to what you love reevaluate your desires so whether it's going back to this person and reconciling or going back to the new love um, the choice is going to be yours you're going to make the healthy choice whether it's a twin flame or a soulmate connection what are your actions towards this person what's your actions towards this person Hmm. Huh. So you may speak a lot of truth. You may be heard. You may communicate or have some type of platform where there's public speaking. You may be known. You may be a broadcaster or trending when it comes to social media. I'm kind of feeling with that. Yeah, social media is there. 
this is Sagittarius energy. It could be your sun, moon, or rising. It could be your person's energy. One of your people's energy here. It could be you, Sagittarius. Maybe that is what you're meant to be doing. Let's see. There's a beginning, a brand new beginning here. Something that's spontaneous. This is something you're not experienced in. It's a new person. You have a different perspective, a new perspective about things. This is about stability. This could be this new person that's coming in as your twin flame. Mm. Youth. This person makes you feel youthful. That playfulness. They're receptive. They're strong-willed yet independent. They're impressionable. They're finding self right now. Maybe you are. Maybe there was some insecurity or rebellion that you have. You're breaking free from some things here. You're trying things out. You may have been naive. This is uh, Gemini, uh, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces energy. Let's get one more of what you might be doing. You might be having a platform here. You may be looking at these new beginnings, new loves. You may be willing to take a risk, I'm getting. And four with Taurus energy. Possessive and codependent, clingy. So this is all about feeling this way with this other person, your soulmate. It could be this person um, letting go of control issues. Someone wants to control things, confine you. Maybe you're jealous or trap you, possessive. Hmm. You may want more freedom from this person. What's the actions from the new person? I'm just going to do one card. Mm, they might be finding source. They might be trying to connect with spirit or spirits connecting with them. And then we have somebody with abundant life, happy, comfort, leisure, wishes are coming true, balance. So this person might be starting to balance things out now. So this could be your new person or this could be your person from your reconciliation. The combined energy is grapes, abundance, bearing fruit, harvest, enjoying the fruits of your labor. So that could be happening for you. That is Virgo energy, possibly Sagittarius if you have Virgo in your chart. Let's see what the outcome is here for you, Sagittarius. What is your outcome here? Let's find out what the after tarot is first. What is the Knight of Wands. Why is that here? Alright, getting a different perspective of something here. Maybe not wanting to come in at first, but seeing something different. Wanting to plan a future with you, seeing you as who you truly are, and that's maybe a sweetheart here with the Queen of Cups. That nurturing, motherly type energy, that intuitive, intuitive and compassionate What's this um, Eight of Swords in reverse? Now this is facing fears and karma ending here. Facing fears and karma ending. Yeah, there's a new blessing coming in here of love. Now whether this is this new person or this reconciliation, you're going to have to figure that out. This Queen of Wands in reverse, this revengeful energy here. They weren't coming forward here because they needed to speak a truth here and try to heal something with you. And until they speak that truth, I feel like they'll take revenge. What's this coming in with the Knight of Swords aggressively here? What is this? Oh, this could be a Queen of Wands. This is the Queen of Wands energy here. This is fiery energy, confident, determined, optimistic, and self-assured here. They, they feel like they're going to win this or confront something here. 
what is this justice in reverse? Because justice in reverse is something that was unfair, some unwelcome change, karmic debts. Yeah, there's that tower crashing everything down, sudden upheaval in somebody's life. What is this hierophant in reverse here? Hierophant in reverse. Okay, it's on the fence and we're going to take it. Ah, uh, a world. Okay, so I feel like possibly somebody ghosted somebody there was no ending or some type of closure here and it's on the fence when it comes to this cheating or this romantic illusion or insecurity or confusion what is why is the world on the fence here why is the world on the fence okay there is no passionate beginning with the king of cups he's in reverse so he's emotionally manipulative might be anxious and withdrawn kind of selfish can't cope immature and the ace of wands in reverse i mean that's that's kind of like having arguments and lies and hostility so they don't want to face the truth here something isn't over between somebody here what is this courage in reverse or strength in reverse Somebody wants to have a victory here and give one of their wands to you or this is you, Sagittarius. You you feel like you picked the right cup and you feel like this person's going to help you get over some anxiety here. Cut these ties away and free you from this anxiety. What is this Wheel of Fortune in reverse here? Why is it in reverse? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they don't feel like they're going to have a lot of luck when it comes to offering something to you that you're going to reject it. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? Well, they're going to come in anyway. Slow and steady wins the race with the Knight of Pentacles here. This is somebody that knows how to grow their money independently. They're practical. They're hardworking, the productive, they may have routines. Give me one more card about this. Ah, the Wheel of Fortune is still not turning in their favor though. There's still bad luck here. Let's find out what the outcome is here. What is the outcome for the new person? Occupation. What about the reconciliation? Courthouse. Okay. And what about you for Sagittarius? What about you, Sagittarius? What is the outcome for Sagittarius? Hmm. Somebody's having thoughts of you or you're having thoughts of them. And there's some type of expectation of an ending here. Give me another card for the occupation. Oh. This landed on the courthouse, so I'm kind of feeling like somebody wants to take you to the courthouse and get married. What about the occupation? Oh, courtship here. Somebody might be expecting a courtship. Somebody's occupation may be getting a house. Huh. Somebody might message you here. What about your other person? The other person might be a mature man that owns a house who's going who's feeling in despair here. Their occupation could have cost them a house. They may have lost their job. They might be in despair with that or they're feeling in despair, they feel like they're not going to get you, that you've married someone else here. Yeah, somebody might be a thief here. And I feel like it has something to do with your fortune that you're getting here. Somebody might be wanting to be with you for that fortune. You're going to have to decide who it is, whether it's the new person or the person from the past. I feel like it's a no-brainer. You're going to know exactly who's who. 
Now, with the sun in reverse, this is kind of telling me this is somebody that's unhappy. There's no peace, they're immature and unsuccessful. So, oh boy. And what about, let's see. Yeah, they don't want marriage. They don't want a family. What about this reconciliation? What about this reconciliation? You know, I'm going to put this back because I didn't really clarify who was who here. What about this new love? Not moving forward. What about the reconciliation? They're not learning something. And what about this thief? Who's the thief? Hmm, they're not watching something. You had somebody watching you. Now, this new person hasn't come forward just yet. Your person still hasn't learned, I feel like, the lesson. And I don't feel like you're watching anybody. I don't feel like you're watching anybody. You're just doing you. You're doing your own thing here. Let's see, what is your intuition telling your new love to use their intuition? And what is their uh, reconciliation person? What is their intuition here? Hmm. Their intuition is telling them that they may not be accepted. They may be rejected. Oh, and look at you. You have the Empress coming out. Whether you are the Empress, this could be your energy, or this is who you are thinking about, or the thoughts are about you as the Empress. Let's see. What, what is to do with this intuition about hmm, having their ships come in, being able to adapt? What about the reconciliation person? Hmm, having to heal. And they haven't healed yet so needing to heal after this happens maybe they start their healing and what about you yeah you're not going to carry anyone else's burdens anymore you're only going to carry your own no more people pleasing I feel here I feel like you've put that to an end and you're just doing what is right for you well, I like this for you, Sagittarius. You have a choice to make. There's going to be a bit of a test in this. I feel um, you're going to know who's who and what is what when it comes to who your thief is between these two. Or this may even be someone else that's coming in to upset the whole thing. So you'll know when at time is right what's what. I feel like you're going to use your intuition. You are the Empress energy so this is all about love this is about pleasure marriage loving and luxury and with you getting that sudden wealth that abundance everywhere you've got abundance in your stuff there you're going to say not today to somebody here and I feel like you know who's who in this story all right please like share and subscribe and let's just say I appreciate each and every one of you for all the donations and all the likes, shares, and subscriptions. All right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed. All right, Lita.